What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Legendary E, and we're back here for another rebuild. And yo, today we got Zaire Wade. Yeah, we have Zaire Wade on the squad, you guys. And if you guys actually missed my rebuild last week, I actually did it with LeBron James Jr. But yo, if you guys want to see more of these player rebuilds with some of these prospects and some of the sons of these NBA superstars, Hall of Famers, you let me know in the comment section below. You drop the name of who I should do next. There were so many requests for Zaire Wade, so here we are. And it looks like he got drafted number two overall by the Los Angeles Lakers. And yo, this man's this man stats is pretty nice. I I'm going to keep it a whole buck with you. Potential to 98. Yeah, so he's... Yeah, we're going to try to make him as good as his dad. Unfortunately, they also have Keldon Johnson. Uh, they have Wade. I don't like him be getting drafted by the Lakers because they are honestly, last year, they was trash. But look who they just drafted. Um, we're going to make a lot of moves on this and pretty much just center this team around Zaire Wade. He's going to be our, our number one scoring option. Matter of fact, let's just go ahead and do that right now. But like I was saying before, if you guys enjoyed this video... Please make sure to go ahead and drop a like on it. And like I said before, hit the subscribe button and share the videos. Yo, sharing the videos helps out so much. But other than that, yo, let me know what you guys think about Zaire. Wait, if you guys think he's going to be nice in the NBA. And where do you guys see him getting drafted uh, whenever his time actually comes? Me personally, I think that he has the, I think he has the potential to be amazing. Of course, he's Dwayne Wade's son. The third greatest shooting guard of all time. He's Dwayne Wade's son. And I believe he's like a freshman. He he's already he's already doing all types of crazy dunks and stuff like that. So that's pretty interesting. But other than that, this is the game plan. Zaire Wade's playing 35 minutes with Lonzo. Uh, he has Brandon Ingram. We got Kuz. We have Julius Randle playing center. Off bench we got Isaiah Thomas, Keldon Johnson, uh, Brian Antoine. Man, the Lakers been trash for a hot minute. Okay, yeah, Lakers been hella trash. All right, let's see if we can make any types of moves, man. All right, Julius Randle's trying to re-up on some, But first of all, Isaiah Thomas, we do want to trade you. Let me let me just put that out there, all right? All right, oh. Well, yo, Isaiah Thomas getting getting mad offers for Kevin Love, and we bring back Jordan Clarkson. That's not that. That's actually really, really good. All right, Blake Griffin, we don't need him. I was turning Zubai, man. I'm kind of I'm, I'm feeling this, man. I'm kind of feeling this. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, like, we are like we honestly like Kuzma, but bruh, that's that's most definitely a W. You know what? Isaiah Thomas, he's 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 my player option. He's gonna accept it. If he's trash next year, we trade him then. Julius Randle, I do want to look what I can get for you and this guy right here, Kane Henry McCollum. I don't even know who who this man is. We're gonna see what we can possibly get for these two guys. If there's something nice, we're gonna go ahead and take it. Of course, the Lakers pick this year has so much value, huh? It should. It was just the number one. Okay. All right. Um, what can I get for that pick? That all right? This that that pick and Isaiah Thomas. If something crazy comes up, we we will consider taking it. If not, Isaiah can just stick as being the like the sixth man. We can. Oh man. We 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 can bring back D'Lo, but now we don't need him since we have. Zaire Wade. You no, know what? I think I think we're good. I, I think we're good. I, I guess we can trade this pick just because like it's gonna be worthless. So I guess we, we, we can trade that pick. But other than that, we are we're honestly good. All right, yeah, there's nobody here. Let's see what this team can actually do in the power rankings with the addition of of Zaire Wade. Let's see, man. Where are we projected? We're supposed to be the sixth ranked team in the league. Let's just start simming in. Let's see how, how this team does. Let's make sure, yes, yeah, Zaire Wade is the number one scoring option. Let's see how much points he can put up in his rookie season. And at the end of this season, you know, Steph Curry's 34. He has like six MVPs. He has five MVP. How is he still winning MVPs? Yo, this man is OP. All right, Isaiah Todd wins rookie of the year over Zaire Wade. I kind of get it. Zaire's playing on the team with Lonzo, Brandon Ingram, Kuzma. A lot of scoring there, man. And this team was trash. All right, anything else? Uh, we, we don't care about any of this, man. This team was horrible. Like, I'm not... All right, all right, let me just check. All right, yeah. Lonzo Ball is all defensive first team. Zaire Wade does make all rookie first team. 18 points his rookie year. Four assists, two steals. And, you know, man, man was actually nice for us. So was LeBron James Jr. sitting right there. Yo, if you guys want me to do Isaiah Todd, let's, let's just go ahead and let me know, all right? We also got Marcus Bagley, Giannis' brother. There's... There's so many options, but yo, this team was trash. 
We somehow finished as the 15th. The 15th ranked team. The 15th ranked team, guys. Makes no sense to me. Yeah, this team was, team was trash. I, 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 really, I really don't get it either. You, you feel me? The bottom of the freaking conference. With the, with the second worst record in the NBA. Did we get any all-stars? Lonzo, he was an all-star. That's all that we had. Um, but, man, that, that's actually, like, that's crazy. So, let's just get into this offseason. We got to add some more firepower. Um, luckily, I didn't trade our draft pick. I actually wanted to. I thought that we'd be good. The Timberwolves are back-to-back -back NBA champions. But, yo, we got to make some moves, man. Definitely got to gotta make some moves. Um, Melo, he finally retires. And, of course, he's in the Hall of Fame. Let's leave the NBA alone. That's cool. Draft Lotto. We have our draft pick, which is great. We had we had the chance. Wow. We were, we were supposed to get second. We get fourth. Yeah. Uh, Quinn Snyder, you're out of here, buddy. Uh, hey, who do I want? Who do I want here? Not Paul Gasol. That the, those things are low. Mike D'Antoni. Yeah, my, let's let's bring Mike D'Antoni back here. All right, let's try to bring him back here and win some championships. All right, we're gonna fire you as well, assistant coach. Paul Pierce. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of a conflict of interest, but we're gonna go ahead and do it. Uh, we already have a solid one there. Honestly, honestly, scout don't really matter, but we do bring back Mike D'Antoni. We, we, we gonna call that one a day. All right, we're gonna trade away this second overall pick just because these are auto-generated players. So we're gonna go ahead and trade the fourth overall pick and Kane. Let's see what we can possibly get. We can get Scottie Pippen Jr. Don't really want him. The third pick, that's actually useless. Damn, are, are, are they just not trading superstars anymore? Like, is this what the fourth pick is worth in 2020? In 2022? All right, let's just make a manual trade. I think this might be the move. And we still get the eighth pick back. Oh, wait, you throw on an, another pick, and I'm going to do it. And I'll, I'll give you guys seconds. There we go. Yeah, all right. So we just went ahead and we made that trade. I think it's going to help us in the long run. Now we have the eighth pick, which is great that, that they're just handing us picks. Scotty Pippen Jr., like, nah. Like, uh, I don't know. We, we can get first two first from the Rockets. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, that might be an L, but it's really whatever. All right, let's sim over the NBA draft. We don't need anybody there. We have all of our young talent on the squad. Let's, yeah, Isaiah Thomas, of course, he's an accepted. We're, we're going to be back. We're, we're going to be bringing back all those guys as well. All right. Qualifying offers, yeah, you guys knew exactly what you guys were doing. All right, free agency time. How much money are, are we rocking with? Negative 94 million. That's awesome. That's that's just awesome. All right. Um, damn. <laughs> that's a lot. All right. We have bird rights on Julius Randle. I, I, I want to bring him back. Like, we actually kind of need him. All right, so we are able to sign Julius Randle, which is great for us. Um, that's the only position that we actually needed. Uh, other than that, we can sign Paul Millsap to the minimum deal. All right, so heading into this season, this is the lineup. Zaire Wade is now an 86 overall. And I, and I just realized that last season, I did not show you guys the stats. So, yo, that's on me, man. But Zaire Wade, he's an 86. We'll make sure he's number scoring. We're going to make sure he's the number one scoring option on this squad. But other than him, this is the lineup, man. Lonzo, Z, B.I. Got Julius Randle. Uh, Andre Drummond off the bench. We got Isaiah Thomas, Keldon Johnson, Antoine, uh, whatever. Don't really matter to me. Uh, let's see what this guy goes to at small forward. Actually, let me try something. Julius Randle. I want to keep that pick just in case we still trash. All right, let's try out this trade. It weakens you. What the, bruh. It weakens them at center. All right, yo. So we are gonna be so we're gonna be doing this trade, trading Isaiah Thomas, a first round pick, Julius Randle, DJ Jeffries. Though he's actually pretty good. The only problem is, yo, we need to make this trade happen, and unfortunately, we gotta trade him and some more first round picks for Kevin Love, Jordan Clarkson. Yeah, we're bringing him back. Mo Bamba, Patrick McCall. That just helps us out off the bench. We have. We still have a strong bench, so I actually rock with that trade. This is the lineup for this season. We still got Zaire with our number one scoring option. Uh, but, yo, Kevin Love is starting at center. Mo Bamba's a sixth man. Keldon Johnson and Brian are still coming off the bench. We don't have a backup small forward. But, honestly, 
I think we're gonna be just fine. All right, what does rebuilding say? It still says that we are rebuilding. I'm gonna turn off teammate chemistry because honestly, in rebuilds, they shouldn't be on in the first place. But yo, let's just see what this team is doing, man. Once again, as long as Zaire Wade is getting buckets and we're winning games, we should be good to go. And at the end of season number two, Steph Curry, sixth MVP. Yeah. His man is balling. He's balling at 35. Mo Bamba wins sixth man of the year on our squad. 13 points, 10 assists. 13 points, 10 rebounds, and 2.2 blocks coming off the bench. So that, that man is nasty. Giannis signed with the Hornets. That's pretty scary. Um, yo, any Lakers on any of the All NBA teams? We have Lonzo Ball. All right, man. I'm just trying to get Zaire Wade on one of those teams before the end of this video. Lonzo's all is also All Defensive First Team. All right, man. We finished as the fourth seed this year. It still says that we are rebuilding. Don't know how I feel about that. Eight games behind the Timberwolves. All right, man. Let's let, let's look at these stats. All right, Zaire Wade led us in scoring with 20 points a game, five assists, two steals. Didn't make any All NBA team though. That's kind of wild. That, that, that's actually really, really, really wild. But anyways, you guys, we should be good there. Um, All-Stars, Lonzo Ball, he was an All-Star. All right, man. Zaire Wade was in the dunk contest, though. All right, that's not, that's not bad. But we did make the playoffs this year. Uh, let's see, man. Round one versus the Phoenix Suns. Let's see if we, if we can hand them an L and... Um, all right, they got us a spot here. We're going to come back for one more season. We're going to see what we can do with this team. We, have made, we haven't made so many trades. But let's at least get Zaire away to championship, man. Honestly, like I said before, I wish he was not drafted to the Lakers. Uh, I think it would have made things a little bit more entertaining. But let's leave the NBA alone. NBA draft. You guys already know how this thing goes. We're actually a pretty decent team. All right, let's see, man. All right, we traded away our draft pick. Cool, cool, cool. Team player options. Let's see what we got going on. Zaire Wade and Brian Antoine, you're, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> All right, qualifying offers. We can offer that to Keldon Johnson. Hopefully, nobody offers him. They shouldn't. And let's see, man. Drummond, let's just make sure that we get him back. That's that, that's all that we that's all that we can really do. We are okay. Jordan Clarkson, we need to offer him as well, bruh. This is not a good look. We have so many players here, and no one wants to sign for the for, for, for the low low. Come on, Braun should Braun should, should want a player, but we can also sign Marcus Saul, which can help us out some. You know, other than that, we're honestly our team is still pretty good. Like it, it honestly is. All right, actually, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. All right, we go ahead and we, we sign those guys. We miss out on Marcus Saul. All right, is there any more old people here? I don't really want Al Horford. Don't really want Derrick Rose. DeMar DeRozan. Let's do it. All right, we, we can get DeMar DeRozan. Bring him back home. Eric Bledsoe. All right, we're not getting Bledsoe. That sucks. Come on. But we are able to sign DeMar DeRozan. Yeah, we, we miss out on Bledsoe. That blows, but you know what? We should be all right. We should be all right. All right. So we end up signing all of those guys. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're honestly good, man. Zaire Wade, he's an 88. It still says that we are rebuilding. I don't know what's going on with that. But, yo, other than that, I'm, but other than that, I'll just see you guys at the start of next season because, honestly, at this moment, I don't even know what else we could possibly do. But looking at the squad for this season, yo, Zaire Wade is now a 90 overall. Yeah, we're, we're going to try to let that man just go up. All right, Kevin Love. Yo, I really want to... All right, you know what? All right. Drummond, two first-round picks. What's there? I really want to make a huge trade. I need somebody who's going to help us in some kind of way. You know what? All we need... You know what? I'm just going to do Keldon Johnson as the backup small forward. Whatever his overall is, doesn't really matter. Now we need a backup center, and then I guess we're going to be just fine. Like, that, that's all that we need at this point is a backup center. Because we're going to have Kevin Love coming off the bench. So, if we can just find a backup center, we'll be good. That's better than that. It's a little bit better. Come on. Somebody who, who's in the 80s. Let's see if we can find something like that. All right. Um, Zimmerman. That's, I really don't want that. I'm not going to lie. I really don't want that. But I think that's, like, the best bet that we're going to get. Is there anybody else? Can we can we get Kuzma back? Nah, we can't. But I, <laughs> it was a nice try. All right, anybody else here? I oh, forget it. Let's just go ahead and let's take the trade. 
he he he's our best bet. We're just gonna go ahead and take it. All right, so we're done making trades, you guys. This is the squad. All right, we're gonna take those minutes away from Zoe and from you as well. Um, stole them to Zaire. All right, let's see what this team can actually do, you guys. You guys already know the starting lineup. This is here. This is how it is. We are now. It says that we are actually contending. Let's get straight into it, man. I think that this is the year that we got to win the championship. And hopefully, Zaire Wade can actually win the MVP. Matter of fact, I want that to happen. I really do. Play through the star. Yeah, play play through star. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all got to be playing a little bit less minutes. All right. We're giving him 40. We're going to let him go out there and just, and just hoop. Simple. And at the end of the season, Lonzo Ball, out of all, like, we were really making a push for Zaire to win MVP, but it's Lonzo Ball, 14.6 rebounds, 10 assists, and almost two steals, and he shot 47% from the three, so that's obviously a W. We got nothing else, but we did get coached here with Mike D'Antoni with a record of 64 and 18, that's because we got the best team in the NBA. All right. Let's see if Zaire made anything. He made he didn't make any All NBA team this entire video. Clearly was getting hold, bruh. What's up with that? Lonzo is also All Defensive first team. Uh, Drummond was All Defensive second team. Yo, that that actually sucks, man. That actually sucks. We finished as the first seed, of course. Clear cut contenders. Um, we finished five in front of the Wolves, eight in front of the Blazers. Standings wise, Zaire 23 points a game, six assists, 1.9 steals. Does not get you an all NBA selection. I mean, okay. I mean, I, I com compared to, to, to some of these shooting guards, actually, I kind of get it. But as far as all stars go, um, Lonzo, he was an all star. That's the only one that we had. Zaire was in the dunk contest once again. And that's about it, man. We we was getting hold all over the place. But let's see if we can actually go ahead and win the championship. So round one, we're taking on the Utah Jazz. Should not be comp, but they're up 2-0. Okay, what's... This is what I'm talking about, man. This is, this is exactly what I'm talking about when I says 2K is extremely random. All right, what's up? Why do I always run into Zion-led teams? Like, for real. We, we, need to, we need to beat the brakes off of this team. I'm not going down 3-0. Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. We're back on track. We're still kind of down in this game. Can y'all please come back? That's all that I ask of. Please. Please, guys, do not. We cannot go down 3 0. We're going down 3 0. Okay. Okay. We're down 3 0 against the freaking Jazz. Okay, now we're coming back this game. We blow them out. Why couldn't we do that before, though? Why? Was that was that was that too hard? Was that was was that really all, all that hard? Okay. Can they can they can they blow a 3-0 lead? Can they blow a 3? I think they're gonna blow. Come on, don't choke, y'all. Alright. We catch another W. Alright, let's let's just keep it going. Cause they actually might be blowing a 3-0 lead right before our actual eyes. Come on, Lakers. Bruh, what are y'all doing? Alright, let me slow it down. I'm gonna jump in this game. Just because there's a slight chance we actually take an L, and I actually want to get some gameplay with Zaire. All right, y'all. So getting into the game, we are on defense. All right, uh, make sure the starters are actually, and I, I don't want to see the freaking backups. And how did he even get that rock? What's up? Oh yeah, just to show you guys where we're on Hall of Fame. All right, because I'm trying to come back, like for real, for real. I'm trying to come back. That's off. Get that. He only has 16 points too. Watch out. Give me that. Come on. All we gotta do is all we gotta do is lead is lead is lead to come back. That's all that we gotta do. Is just lead to come back. I don't I can't believe that we are struggling against the freaking eighth seed. We are about to take an L to the eighth seed, man. The eighth freaking seed. He freaking fouled out. And I and I, I'm guessing the same thing happened to Brandon Ingram too. Just freaking great. Is that let's go. This, this is ridiculous, man. Go up. Give me that. Bro, what the hell? Knock that down. Bomba green. A light. Okay. Oh, all right. All right. All right. All right. I, I wish that was a three. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. We're not looking good. The Lonzo only has 9.6 assists. This was not the same team we, we were seeing during the regular season. 
And of course he gets the foul call. Yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and call it. We're not we're we're not gonna win this game no matter what I do. And we fall to the freaking eighth seed. We fall to the eighth seed. Wow. I've never seen the number one seed fall to the eighth seed. I, I've I've never seen that. Let's see who wins the championship. Actually, I really don't even care. This is actually ridiculous. Um, let's see. The fifth. Okay, what's up? The Timberwolves win another championship. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Yo, let me know what you guys think about Zaire Wade. Any comment section below. I think, like, like I said before, I think that he's going to be nice, man. He gets to train with one of the top players uh, of all time. Actually, multiple of them. He, he, he gets to train with a lot of them. But as far as our final roster, it, of course, it was Zaire Wade. The focal point of this entire video, Lonzo Ball, Andre Drummond, Mo Bamba, Kevin Love, Brandon Ingram, Brian Antoine, Keldon Johnson, Steven Zimmerman, Jordan Clarkson, Corey Joseph, DeMar DeRozan, Reggie Bullock, and Terrence Jones. This team could have won a championship. I find it crazy. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And, and if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to go ahead and drop a like on it. 230 likes for the next episode, for the next rebuild. And make sure to go ahead and smash that subscribe button to join the family. Also, comment down below what you guys think about Zaire and who we should do this with next. But, yo, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. But I'm out. Peace, y'all. started talking to me like I'm slowing down. Statistics, of course. Come at me and all you'll get is the ballistic report.